the people I really wanted to impress were not there. The to one person it. you wanted to to show was unavailable. Yeah. So you know those things have um, kind of makes me sad. Just talking about I I don't talk about it that much, but it's just like, damn, that's like it's hella sad. Especially at that age. Yeah, where you're just like, I've literally worked my whole life to impress my parents. And when we talk about like a narcissistic narcissistic personality, my dad doesn't even notice things unless they're extraordinary. Hmm. Hmm. Right? Oh my goodness. So unless you do something so over the top. Doesn't get his attention. It doesn't really matter. Wow. And I finally thought I had done that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And it didn't even matter then. So it was just like, so my work ethic and how I do things, you know, when I first started my business and how I work, Mm -hmm. um, I was on a vendetta again to prove to my dad, to prove to my mom, to prove to my family that I am a value when I came out as gay, like, all of a sudden, this, like, I was, like, the token, the model, you know, grandson, nephew, Mm -hmm. son. Um, And then I was just, like, tarnished goods. Like, I just, like, from one day to the next, it was almost like I wasn't as talented. I wasn't, something was wrong with me. I'm sick. I'm, Mm -hmm. like, like, I have a problem. Like, all of that. So um, I've just been on a mission to prove Prove. things. Mm. What's fascinating, nine years of therapy, turning 40 a couple weeks ago, I don't give a shit <laughs> anymore. But that's also because things in my life are starting to work. Things are starting to shape around your vision, right? And you don't, yes. you don't have to feel like you have this thing on your back that's saying, oh, well, because you didn't do it that way, that's why maybe you're not thriving the way that you want to. But maybe it was just time. Yeah. Just timing. Tell me, so, you know, you're at a different place in life Mm -hmm. now. And, but you, 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 a a part of your life was this corporate life, Mm -hmm. right? And and essentially you, you wanted to be a designer. I did. I wanted to be a fashion designer. Fashion designer, right? Mm -hmm. I know you'd started doing window displays. You started doing a couple of different things down this lane. What, you know, what happened in that transition? Why, why didn't you continue that path? Um, that's a really good question. You know, everybody says that's a really good question when they're trying they're to trying buy to time <laughs> to figure out what the hell they're going to say. That's good media training. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's a really good question. Um, no, I, I'm liking that question because I've, I, I, I haven't precisely thought about it in those terms before. Yeah. Um, why did I leave and not go back? Um, I've had every kind of job in terms of I've been freelance, I've worked corporate, Mm -hmm. I've worked retail, I've worked service, you know, retail is service. Yeah. Um, and they all have their problems. Mm. Um, none of them are perfect. Mm-hmm. And I think what happened for me, my dream job was to work at Barney's mm. in the window display department. And that was essentially my first job out of college. Okay. Um, when I transferred from fashion design to fine art. And then I didn't even know how I would get into fashion because I didn't have the connections anymore. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to make a portfolio precisely. Mm. And would anybody believe that I even know what I'm doing? Blah, 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 blah. Like all those kind of things. Yeah. And so I was, like, really stressed out about it, mm-hmm. quite frankly. And, um, but I was like, well, let's see what happens at Barney's. Like, I was just a salesperson, but then I quickly got into the window display department. Mm. And I, it was my most favorite job I've ever had. Your most favorite? I loved it. I went to bed at night. And I could not wait to get to work in the morning. What well, what was it about? Like, well, because I just got to play. Uh, I got to just like come up with an idea, like, oh, I want, I want these really fancy mannequins in like five and ten thousand dollar dresses to be doing laundry. <laughs> I found a like 
laundry cart on the side of the street. I'm going to bring it in the store and we're going to have them like, I'm going to get some plastic hangers and like put all these fancy clothes on this thing. Isn't that funny? <laughs> and they're like, I love that idea. Do it. Do it. Um, oh, I want to like take these old frames and make like these like denim portraits and like make these denim sculptures inside of the frame and like blah, 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 blah. And they're like, do it. And I'm like, okay, cool. I want to do something with flowers. I want to make these like weird flower headband crown yeah. things. I think they'll be really pretty and like put them with like, you know, these contemporary collections and blah, 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 blah. Do it. I want to paint this portrait. I want to like, I mean, I just got to literally, literally creative freedom. If I thought about it, I generally speaking and could justify it and it didn't cost me a ton of money, I could just do whatever I wanted. Wow. And then I was so committed. We got so committed at, like, becoming a part of the directive mm -hmm. that would, like, we were doing really cool stuff so that then, like, that would be something that they would implement in other stores. Mm -hmm. yep. And so then um, my first boss that I had was the pits, if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. And then my second boss that I had, like, really just encouraged, Night, embraced, and nurtured my creativity mm -hmm. and, like, would be like, we're going to, let's get half of our let's get at least half of our ideas in the directive. Let's hmm. see if we can, like, get corporate to really love really, what we're doing. Yeah. And we started to find that. Huh. Like, and it was just so fun. Yeah. I did not get paid enough money to make a living. 